Hello farmers, I'm Hobby Farm Guy Eric, here to bring you a spotlight on the Sussex Chicken. This was suggested by a viewer, Coco Reed, so stick around to learn about this popular breed. The Sussex breed of chicken has been around for a couple of centuries now, and while other breeds seem to follow trends of popularity, the Sussex has held steady for a long time. The first poultry show ever was held in England in 1845, and the Sussex was there. Its history, however, dates back to England as early as the first century AD. Of course, due to development of the breed through the centuries, the modern Sussex probably bears little resemblance to its early ancestors. It was during the Victorian era that the Sussex became the breed we are familiar with today. Today, the breed is very popular in England, Canada, and Australia. It's also starting to gain popularity in the United States, particularly the speckled variety. The Sussex is available in a variety of colors, including speckled, light, coronation, brown, buff, red, silver, and white. The silver, brown, buff, and red are considered to be extremely rare today. All varieties have a red single comb, wattles, and earlobes. They have a perky appearance with their tail feathers extending at 45 degrees from their rectangularly shaped body. Average weights for the Sussex are 9 pounds for roosters and 7 pounds for hens. The Bantam Sussex measures about 2 to 4 pounds. The Sussex is fairly docile and easy to handle, making it a great choice around children as a pet or for a 4-H project. They're fairly curious and are known to follow you around to see what you're up to. They're considered to be non-aggressive, even the roosters, so they're usually at the bottom of the pecking order and might not do well in a flock with aggressive breeds. Much of the reason for its popularity through the years has been its reputation as a great dual purpose option. It's a great meat bird and is often considered one of the better tasting breeds. It's also fairly fast growing, although the speckled variety does not share this trait. They're also great layers, providing four to five large brown eggs each week, even through the winter when many breeds slow down production. They really only take a break when they're molting. The Sussex hen is considered to be a great mother with a tendency to go broody. The exception to this is the light Sussex variety, which has been reported in some breeding lines to be rarely broody. If you decide to breed them, there are usually plenty of people willing to take Sussex chicks home to their flock. You may also choose to breed a light Sussex hen with a Rhode Island red rooster, to produce sex-linked chicks, that is, chicks that are easy to distinguish male from female at hatching by their markings. This is a robust and hardy breed. They'll do well in most climates and conditions. They also are good foragers. One thing you'll have to watch for is that the Sussex has a tendency toward obesity. That's fine if you're looking to put them on your table, but if kept as layers, it can have a negative impact on egg production. It can also lead to serious health issues as the bird ages. So if you're looking for a great dual purpose breed with an absolutely great temperament that's easy to care for, consider the Sussex. And if you'd like to see us spotlight a different breed or chicken or any animal for that matter, just leave us a comment below. Thanks everyone and happy hobby farming.